Happy Tuesday, fellow 3D printers. I'm Jay Wall with Print That Thing here to let y'all know what's going on in the world of 3D printing. 3Ding has developed a sexy, strong, simple one button printer for under $460 plus shipping from India. 3D printers printing printers! Toy Rep created an $85 printer using tiny toy motors and 3D printable parts. Studio Ilio over in London are using large heated wires and sand to create these abstract pieces of furniture for your bum to sit on. A concrete house printer able to print 18 foot walls is being shown off in Moscow's 3D printing expo in early October. American CNC manufacturer Thermwood created an industrial printing system with a six axis extruder head, allowing it to print large 10 foot carbon graphite reinforced thermoplastics in any direction up to 90 degrees. 3D printing with light. Using a LED light extruder, long camera exposures and coating, filmmakers are now able to add beautiful 3D printed light sculptures to their work. Harvard spinoff Voxel 8 are disrupting the design and manufacturing of electronics by 3D printing highly conductive silver ink into their models like little circuit boards. So who knows, you may be printing your new smartphone soon. E3D has kickstarted and created a huge printer they call Big Box. It's fully hackable with a grow as you go kind of system and can print about a foot tall. But if you need to go even bigger, there's the base over on Australia and you can print out small little children if they're sitting down and that'll be on Kickstarter soon too. But it prints two feet tall. With three photos of your feet, you can now have fully customized personalized, flexible 3D printed shoes. 3D Print Life has developed a biodegradable Envirio ABS filament for $50, and the filament ships in a recycled cardboard package that can fit almost any 3D printer. Movolver is working on a really cool project called RETR 3D, where third world communities can build 3D printers from actual waste found in the Nairobi dump sites. You just type in the dimensions of the piece of trash you found, and then a series of Python scripts will use FreeCAD to design the remaining pieces that you need to build a fully functioning 3D printer. The world's best stethoscope was designed and 3D printed by Gaza doctor Tarek Lumbani and his team of specialists. The stethoscope has been tested for a few months now and is actually proven to work a little bit better than the traditional more expensive competition. A titanium 3D printed spinal cord implant helps Amanda Gorvin with her constant back pain. It's been three months since the surgery and she says that she can do normal activities without crazy pain. Got old mason jars? Poland design team has created a mini 3D printed greenhouse using just those. You simply just plant inside the 3D printed base, screw the mason jar on top and voila, a mini greenhouse. Roku Danashka, Japanese artist known for her personal vagina art and pussy kayak, was re-arrested in December for distribution of her obscene data files to her fans. She's currently undergoing a lengthy trial and if found guilty, she'll face up to two years and a $20,000 fine. Google's Boston Dynamics announced today that they plan on using 3D printing for better design in their humanoid robot, Atlas. This method could greatly improve the weight, the hydraulic system, moving fluid throughout the legs, and add to the overall function and durability of the robot. Print, 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 printer of the, 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 the week. Designer Mashamaru Ono for his incredible VR headsets that were inspired by a rhino and a grasshopper. Personally, been obsessed with VR lately, so I just keep finding myself going back to look at his designs and drooling over how incredible they are. But you can buy them on his Shapeway store for low, low price of $10,000, and then just slide your smartphone right in, and boom, you're in another alternate reality. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next to Newsday and happy printing.